What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do a head-to-head -head where we're going to put the new Soundcore C30i open ear earbuds. I say open earbuds. <laughs> They'll go head-to-head -head against the Bose Ultra Open earbuds. Now, this should be a really good head-to-head. -head. The C30i's just hit the market, and we want to put them up against everybody else in their genre. Uh, I guess as far as their form factor goes, yes, I know we have the the uh, shock open fits that still fits in this in this for in this uh, genre, I guess, as far as open earbuds. But I figure these uh, the ultra opens are a little bit more uh, designed uh, similar to the C30i. So enough of that. If you want to see price specs and app breakdowns for both of these, I'll leave links in the description below to my unboxing videos for both. That way you can check that out. Then come on back and join us for this head to head. It should be fun. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these and crack these open. All right. Whoops, <laughs> I lost it. All right, as you can see here, we've got the the C thirty eyes in the left. We've got the Q the Ultra Opens. I want to call them QC Ultras, but the Ultra Opens. Here on the left, on the right, uh, as you can see, uh, two very same form factor, but very, 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 very different ways of getting there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the Ultra Opens. Everyone has seen these. I think this is a very, very nice design, in my opinion. Of course, you know you got the front portion where your speaker fires out at the ear, but instead of giving you that round uh, cut, like the just the round design, the I guess the earring type design. You get that elastic that stretches out, which allows it to work with people with uh, bigger ears. And of course, this portion wraps around the back end. And of course, you got your button control here at the top, which I think for this form factor is really good. Uh, a really good idea. As you can see, the button top here. Um, I, I do. I really think that's a really nice idea. But very light. Once you have these on, uh, it's easy to forget about them uh, all day long. These are very comfortable, even though this looks like that would like pinch or like pry into your ear, give you some type of fatigue. I have not experienced uh, any type of fatigue when wearing these uh, for uh, long, long periods of time. All right, let's take a look at the C30Is. Now, these are a little more rigid, um, actually a lot more rigid than the uh, Bose as you can see, these guys have no flex at all. None. These things do not flex or any anything. So they, of course, you can get uh, grip tips on here for the back. I did have one on. I think I had the medium or the or the small on. But after long periods of time, uh, I started getting kind of irritation with the cartilage. I don't know if it was because I might not had it on incorrectly as far as how the ear to, how the earbuds was supposed to sit on my ear. But I had to take it off, and, and of course, uh, that resolved all those issues there. Of course, as you can see, you got that nice, huge speaker there <laughs> in there, but, you know, your audio comes right out of here. So everything funnels out of here, which is then uh, directed directly at your ear canal, which allows all of your audio to go that way. Um, and on the back here is your touch sensor. Uh, you got to be, you know, it's got to be some real good training. You got to get used to it, muscle memory to know exactly where to tap uh, to hit that. It is depressed. So even if you run your finger over it, you can definitely find it. Um, my thing is, is what I discovered after wearing these for a while is that if you turn your head um, left or right too far, you will actually actuate this sensor. All right. Um, you can definitely use it. And you've, you've, I've just done it before, and I've turned my ear either to the left or to the right. I think it was more to the, like, when I chain, turn my head to the left, because the sensor is right back there and right where it sits on your ear, it touches, the ear touches the side of your neck, uh, and then it actuates the functionality. I've been calling up my uh, Google Assistant and Bixby, depending on what device I'm using, all the time when I turn my head, I have to be ex extremely careful with these ones. Whereas with the touch, with the button control on 
the open ultras, the ultra opens rather, no problem whatsoever with that. So I just wanted to point that out. But, and again, despite the fact that these guys have no give to them whatsoever, um, once you get these guys on, they are extremely comfortable. They're just as comfortable as the ultra opens here. Um, definitely can wear these long-term, especially now that I've taken off the grip tip for the back, for the uh, back portion. Um, it does give me, uh, I'm very comfortable and I have been using these guys for a very, very long time, like a long period of time of listening and everything like that. All right. So what we want to do now, we're going to, um, go ahead and continue our testing of these. And then of course we don't go into the sound test. Stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Soundcore C30i earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore C30i earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore C30i earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore C30i earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bose Ultra Open earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bose Ultra Open earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we are outside, obviously, <laughs> taking the walk. We want to test the uh, Soundcore C30Is uh, to see exactly how loud they have to be for me to get good audio and still be able to uh, hear my surroundings. Uh, as you can see, the C30Is are in the ear. And we're gonna go ahead and get some we're gonna get some audio playing. We're gonna do one of my audio books. What well, the audio book I'm currently listening to. And we're gonna use that one as our test bed. Alright. So right now I'm at 50% volume, as you guys can see. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, all right, good audio there. So far, I can still hear what's going on around me. And it's not bad. All right, so now we're gonna do a little on the you know, field test. We're gonna go ahead and use the, the earbuds to turn the volume up a little bit. All right. It did increase it a bit. I think we're at about 60% now. And I'm getting really good sound out of it. Like I said, I can still hear vehicles and everything rolling. So with this, with these, uh, these uh, diaphragms in them, uh, these are, or not diaphragms, but the speakers in these are very, very good. I got a lot of cars rolling by a lot of rubber on road, but I can still hear what I'm listening to without having to really turn it up uh, like massively. So this is doing a really good job. All right, so this has been a sound test for the C30Is by Soundcore. All right, we are outside uh, doing an ambient sound test with the Bose Ultra Open earbuds. All right, got them in the ear. We got traffic going and every, everything else. We got crazy people yelling out the door, out cars and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn audio on and see how loud it has to be in order for me to be able to get good audio and still hear my surroundings. All right. So we got baby face playing. All right. I got audio now. Let me see where we at. Right now we're at about 50% volume. Let me get that in. I don't know if you can see it because it keeps tracking me. All right, let's do that. All right, so we got at 50% volume. And it's, I still, I hear it, it's pretty good. Let's, let's go up uh, 65. Let me say, let me show you guys. See my rocker. That's 65% right there. And 
I'm getting some really good audio. I can still hear everything. I can still hear the traffic and everything. And the audio sounds really good. So I can walk and talk and have these on and still get great audio. So about 65% works for me, which is pretty good. So this has been an ambient sound test for the Bose Ultra open ear earbuds. All right, back in for the sound test. We've got the C30Is already paired up and we're in the app. As you can see, there is no real, uh, actually there is no uh, EQ equalizer or anything like that uh, for these ear earbuds. And at least not right now, hopefully with a uh, software update for the app, they would include one down the road. Uh, we do have 3D surround sound on here, but I find that best when watching movies and listening to like audiobooks and everything like that. I think you get a better sound out of it that way. Um, in my opinion, uh, it just sounds like because of the audio, just because of the way 3D works, it sounds like your vocalists are, you know, pushed back or, you know, it just has a uh, not, it doesn't have a good uh, bright ray up front sound in my opinion. So we're not going to go ahead and use that. Um, at least not right now. We will go into my testing. We will do some uh audio book we do we will do an audio book sounding just to see how it sounds with the, with the open voice but right now we're going to focus on music so we are at the optimal listening level for these i don't want to get a copyright strike so mind you uh so forgive me on that all right so we're going to do we're going to go ahead and grab uh one song here let's go ahead and do yeah let's go ahead and do sweet child of mine we're going to see what the crispness and everything sounds like let's go Oh, I hit the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> Let me get back. I hit the wrong one, sorry there. That was my fault. All right. Now the lead saxophone, lead guitar, I don't know why I wanna say saxophone, the lead guitar, the guitar solo on this is fantastic. Now we got the background instruments coming in. All right, now we got the drums and everything, the pace is picking up. Very nice. That sounds really good. Oh, uh, vocals sound nice and clean and crisp. Now, mind you, sorry about that little lull there, but again, because of the open, uh, open ear form factor, you do lose bass. You do lose the low end. Um, you might get a little bit of a a, th a bump, uh, but you're not going to get the full power of the low end. Not saying that this song has it, but going into our other songs you 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 may notice that but but as far as this song here crystal clear i mean just crisp instruments the vocals are nice and clean and crisp and clear rather but it sound really really good on that all right so let's go ahead and jump into uh you know what let's go let me see this here, let's go ahead. We're going to find a song that doesn't have much bass because, again, we can measure these guys when it comes to bass because they will all fail that test. All right, as far as my concern. All right, let's go ahead. We'll try some Janet here. Let's do some Janet. Very nice. I love the fact that it has that detail where you, it's like you got audio and it, it switches size. It switches size in your earbuds too. So that's really good detail. Okay, now we got Heavy D on here. RIP to have. All right, again, vocal, rap vocals, nice and clear. Uh, the clarity is nice. I, I really, really appreciate it. I really, really can appreciate it. All right, just for, just for pieces, just for, you know, just for um, S and Gs, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on 3D surround sound. All right, we're gonna say we're gonna get this a little bit here. Okay. All right, my, this actually sounds good. I know my first attempt at it, they, uh, they didn't sound as good with 3D surround, but this sounds really nice. All right. Okay, it did sound it did sound good with that, so I'm gonna keep it on. Okay, we will go into our third song here. Oops, went the wrong way. All right. Again, 
I love we're gonna go ahead and listen to this with uh Kenny G. Let's see how it sounds. I mean, it just it did sound good. Let's go. Okay, now this is where the 3D sound surround sound kind of falls off. Very nice, clean, crisp uh lead saxophone, but it sounds like it's sounds like it's recessed. It's more like the lead, the uh, the background, so the keyboard, the drums. So like that's more out in front than the the lead saxophone, at least to my ear. Let's go ahead and uh, switch up and turn that off. All right, you can definitely tell the difference now. Okay. Again, very crisp sound. I I really enjoy it. Again, I really enjoyed it. It, it just sound real crisp. Uh, it's just the three D sound. The three D surround sound doesn't work. It worked on the Janet Jackson song. I'm not gonna lie. It sound really good in that fit, in that setting. But then when you got into the Kenny G song, you could tell the difference in how uh, they sound as far as uh, the instrument sound. Uh, with the with that 3D surround 3 surround sound on, so we're gonna do real quick. Let me grab a, a audio book. I've been on this a little long. I, I promise the next one won't be. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one here. All right, let me grab this. Get into my library here. I'm just gonna grab one real quick. Now we're gonna bring up some Sherlock. All right. Okay. Very nice, very clean sounding, very clear to the, the narrator or, or, all right, let me, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on 3D surround sound. Now it sounds good here with spoken word, but it, I don't know what it is with music and, but it doesn't do well as far as when it comes to instruments, but the spoken word and people singing, it sounds good. All right, let me get out of here because I could. <laughs> All right, so now with uh, audio, with music playing, with audio, actual uh, music songs, I would recommend not using the 3D surround sound with the C30Is, but outside of that, you got great crystal clear vocals, you got nice crisp sharp instruments. Uh, it sound really, really good, uh, and I'm very impressed with it, despite the fact that they do not have an equalizer, which I think they would benefit from. Hopefully, uh, Soundcore will do an update uh, for the, the the app that will include a graphic equalizer for these earbuds that you, they can really take them to the next level. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get these swapped out. We're gonna put the ultra opens in, run them through the sound test, stay strapped in. All right, back in, we got the ultra opens in the air. We're in the app. Let's go ahead and take a look at my EQ settings because these do have a graphic equalizer, so I am able to make those changes there. So I went ahead and did that. And then of course, you know, we got our modes here. All right, right now I have immersion turned on. And actually, you know what? We are, I already know, and we already know that these are gonna sound better uh, with the, the uh, immersion mode turned on and all that stuff. So what we're gonna do, just to make this a little bit fairer, and I know a lot of people aren't gonna like this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're going to go ahead and go into, let me see, I don't wanna mess up. Well, we'll just go ahead and reset them. All right, I can always put it back. So we wanna go with our neutral setup, all right, as far as the equalizer, and as far as modes, we're gonna go into stereo, all right? And we're gonna, and that means immersion has been turned off. So. I basically made it just as equal to the uh, C30Is as possible, 
and we're going to go ahead and do it that way. So let's get started. All right, we're in. We got our song set up and let's go ahead and dive right in. We are at our optimal listening level. Of course, because these are open ear, like I said, I turn it down a little bit because I don't want to get copyright strike. So here we go. Alrighty. A nice, crisp uh, guitar solo. Uh, it's just a nice, clean sound. I'm going to turn this up one more. There we go. Very clean. Again, and the, the background instruments sounding great. Again, picking up pace now. It sounds really, really good. Even on stereo. This is a great sound. Now we got the lead vocalist coming in. Let's see what we got. Again, vocals, very clean and clear. Nice. I love the way the soundstage widened out. Very nice. All right, a very, very clean sound. Very, I, I really, really enjoy it. Re very nice. We'll go ahead and go on to our my our next song. Actually, you know, we want to go ahead. Yep, we want to go into our next song. Uh, and that is Janet. Let's go ahead. Here we go. Okay, nice, clean start. Got a little bit of a bump, a little bit of a bump in the bass. But again, we're discarding now. I just wanted to point that out that even, even in neutral, you still get a little bit of that. Now here comes have, heavy D that is. Very clean and clear. Very clean, very, very clear. Very nice. I'm liking this. Even in stereo, they have a nice, clean, clear uh, sound. All right, now, as far as brightness, again, we're on neutral, so there's bell even as far as settings go, but as far as brightness of sound, I will have to give it to the C30 eyes. They're just a little bit brighter than this, than the the ultra opens even on uh even on uh with the neutral setting but they're still a little bit brighter nice sound all right let's go ahead and go into our third song all right again nice warm start up very clean Lee saxophone comes in. A little nice and crisp, a little low sounding. A little low sounding. I'm gonna point that out. But it sounds very crisp. Absolutely. Very nice though. I, I like the way this sounds. Uh with the um with the uh settings all set to neutral. The high note was nice, but it's just it's a nice sound. It's just I just think that the the bright you know C30Is are a little bit brighter. Now again, I am using uh neutral settings. I'm not using the equalizer. I'm not using the immersion mode. It's just strictly stereo. Everything zeroed out. But you still get a really good sound out of them. It's just that they're a little uh a little uh lower as far as volume goes. Of course, um it is, like I said, I'm saying I lost my train of thought there. They're a little bit brighter now. Like the C30 eyes are a little bit brighter naturally than the uh, Ultras. But the Ultras, I should be saving this for later, but I'm going to say it now. The Ultras, the vocals and everything are a lot crisper, a lot cleaner, a lot clearer than, or I'm going to say a lot. They are clearer, crisper, cleaner than the C30 eyes. So let's go ahead and get into 
our spoken word. We're going to our audio book. All right, and again, we are in neutral mode, as I like to call it, zeroed out EQ and uh, on stereo. So here we go. Nice and clear, nice and clear audio. Voice sounds nice and clear. Sounds very, very clear. Very nice. All right, I'm not gonna stay on that too long because it does it. It says it. It sells itself. Nice, clean vote by lyrics. Uh, not lyrics, but nice, clean spoken word uh, by the narrator or the reader of this audio book. He sounds very crisp, very clean, very clear. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up. We're gonna come back. We're gonna pick our winner of these two. It might be more complicated than you think. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. This has been a really good head-to-head. -head. Uh, there were some some uh, things that uh, one had that the other one didn't, in my opinion. So uh, not going to beat around the bush too much, but we are going to. I'm going to just try to cliff notes this or summarize it up. As far as the C30 eyes, they have gr great natural sound. Their volume is natural. Nice and naturally loud. They do get pretty loud. That's why I had to turn them down. Don't want no copyright strikes. But I think, uh, let me back up before. I, the 3D surround sound works in certain uh, applications, not in all applications. Like uh, certain songs it works and other songs it doesn't. But it definitely works when you listen to like audio books or even a podcast. That three, or even a movie. If you're using these and you're watching a movie, even the uh, the 3D surround sound will definitely work in those cases. Uh, like I said, with some songs it'll work, and some songs it does not work. Um, let's see. Uh, I like the fit. Now that I took it off the the grip, uh, the the grippers that they have for these that you can slide on the back, I took them off. They become even more comfortable, and I don't have to worry about them falling off or anything. So that's good there. The only thing is, is uh, the, the, rigid, the rigidity of these, they do not move, but uh, as far as as far as far uh, putting them on and off, I have no problem uh, with these at all. Uh, like I said, the sound is good. I just wish these guys had an equalizer that we could fine tune their sound. Uh, hope, like I said, hopefully Soundcore will release uh, an update on the app that will allow uh, that, that feature to be available. Um, Again, I took off away from all the bass. I took bass out of the picture because this form factor suffers from uh, not being able to generate that much bass uh, anyway because it's an open ear earbud and it is designed like that. So, but I love the clarity on the vocals, the instruments, and the spoken word. Uh, very crisp. Uh, uh, and very clean. I've really enjoyed it with these. All right, so moving over to the uh, Ultra Opens. Again, I did. I sat the. I put the settings for these on neutral, uh, zeroed out the EQ, put them in stereo mode, turned off immersion mode, and they still had nice, clean, clear, crisp uh, instruments and vocals. You did get a still got a little bit of a bass bump or uh, from these, more so than you would out of the C30Is. However, the C30Is was naturally a little louder than the Ultra Opens. Um, but I think that's pretty much uh, the only winning thing between these two that they have. Uh, I think the Bose Ultra Opens have a little bit more, um, I should I say it, a little bit more depth to them um, as well as sound goes. Oh, one more thing they have on the Ultra Opens is they have better mics for calls. All right, so they got two, two categories, they went in two categories where uh, the Ultra Opens uh, win in, let's say, the sound, the app, uh, and everything, and the sound app, uh, comfort, I mean, they're both comfortable, but I find the Bose Ultras to be a little bit more comfortable than the uh, than the C30Is, mainly because of the band that they're designed with. And, you know, it's a little bit more comfortable there. It gives you a little bit more give, but in the same token, stand firm wherever you put them. 
uh, whereas the C30Is, as we all seen, they're very, very rigid and they, you know, they go nowhere. And, but again, same thing like the Bose, they stay in their place. So, uh, based on my set, my, uh, usage of these guys, I've had, you know, had the C, you know, you know, I've had the Bose Ultra Opens for a long a time. I've been using the C30Is for about a week now. And I have to say, um, I'll have to give it to the Ultra Opens on this one. Um, yes, they have a brighter volume. They have better, uh, they have better mics for calls, but I think they fall short, a little bit shorter than the Bose Ultra Opens because they get more detail out of the songs uh, than you would on the sound chords. but they still are great. I love the fact that sound chords throw their hat, their hat in the ring when it comes to this this design, this, and I love it. These will definitely, I definitely will be using these, uh, for sure. Uh, and only, I wish they had, uh, uh, wireless charging, but that's a different, that's a different thing, different thing, but definitely want to check these out. These are really good earbuds, despite the fact, uh, that I think that the Bose Ultra Opens are just a little bit better. All right, so this has been a head-to-head -head between the new Soundcore C30i open earbuds and the Bose Ultra Open earbuds. Ultra Opens get the win, but there's so much potential in the C30i's. I really hope Soundcore allows them to live up to that potential. Give them an EQ. Put an EQ in the app. Give them that. And, let, and then we can come back and do this rematch. If you like what you see, go and hit the like button. If you want to join me as I continue to do videos like this and others, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when videos like this and others come along. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.